Hey guys, and welcome back to Auburn Fast Talk. And today we're going to be discussing a blog post by Saturday Down South, which they stated Stidham hurt his stock with an offense that's the worst offense in football and that can't train a quarterback. And I've been reading the comments, and and here's my point of view on it. Granted, we're all happy, and 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 we give nothing but but uh, uh uh congratulations to every player that was lucky enough to be drafted. In my personal opinion, I was very surprised Jared Stidham got drafted. Very surprised. Um, not because my personal my personal outlook on him as an athlete but just as just by looking at his film from the little bit he had at Baylor then the film he had with the two years at Auburn I just didn't didn't see a lot but that goes to show you that Jared Stidham was in the wrong offense he was not going to dwell in the Auburn offense but he is completely built to play and be a NFL quarterback on somebody's team, which so happened he got picked up by the Patriots. So, it is what it is. But his playing style is built for the NFL. It's not built for a Gus Malzahn offense. So, if it wasn't a Gus offense, yeah, I think he was a bit trash. Yes, he was. I wouldn't say he was the worst quarterback ever, but he was trash, in my opinion. So, you can... You can disagree with me on that. It's totally fine. But in my opinion, he was trash. But his playing style is built for the NFL. Cam Newton, I've seen a lot of people bring up Cam Newton. Cam Newton, and I'll see, this will be one of my last times saying this. Cam Newton was a rarity. He's not a player you get every year. So... Whether he was in the Auburn spread offense at that time, or if he was in the Clemson offense, if he was in Alabama's offense, if he was in Florida State's offense, it did not matter whose offense he was in. That guy was going to do what he was going to do. That's how elite of an athlete he was. Amongst everyone else that you would think just all of them being all college players that they would all be on the same playing field. Cam was so higher than any of the other guys to where it was almost unfair for him to be out there playing amongst those guys. That's how talented he was, but he would have done that in any other offense. So it's just, it's just facts. He would have done it in any other offense. So it didn't hurt his, it didn't hurt his draft stock at all. He went number one. And the reason being, you have to take into account also, he had a good offensive line when he was at Auburn. He had a good offensive line. They had a good offense, period. Just that Cam got on the team and it just shot, it just skyrocketed. Versus when you say Jared Stidham, yes, I would agree. Jared Stidham didn't have all, he didn't have a, a great offensive line. But that's for his last year. The year before last, which was the 2017 season, it was mostly it was mostly predicated on Kerryon Johnson. And I I bet anyone to look at all the film off of that year and show me one game where Stidham's play won us the game. I just need a, a few to 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 be able to come up with facts on that. And if and if so, I won't make that statement anymore. But but yes, he didn't have an offensive line. So yes, that affected his draft stock. But he still got drafted. At the same token, you look at it, Nick Marshall. Nick Marshall was an athlete playing quarterback. He wasn't a complete quarterback. He was an athlete playing quarterback. So that's why you've seen, yes, he was a heck of a quarterback in college for those last two years at Auburn. But then when it was time for the draft, he went back to his root position, which is cornerback, because the guy's an athlete. 
Because truth be told, if he would have went in the draft as a quarterback, I doubt he would have went at all. Let alone when he transitioned to cornerback for the draft, he didn't get picked up at all. It was on. It was after the draft was over with. And even then, when he played quarterback at Auburn, he had a hell of a offensive line. That's why Trey Mason did so well. That's why I can't. Uh, uh, that's why Cameron Artis Payne did so well. That's why Corey Corey, um, Corey Grant did so well. They had a a very good offensive line. Well, offensive line that Jerry Stidham had to work with, not so much. So. From my standpoint, I feel as though, yes, my my personal preference is that I'm still surprised Jerry Stidham had got drafted. Well, I, well, let me rephrase that. I wasn't surprised he got drafted. I was surprised where he got drafted. I I was thinking he may have he may have will probably go a little bit lower than what he did, but I wasn't gonna. I'm, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that I just flat out wiped it out like. He wouldn't get drafted at all. No, I wouldn't say that. But I just was kind of anticipating him to go a little lower than what he did. But either way, he got drafted, which still is a good thing. But to that particular blog post, I mean, I don't disagree with it. I don't disagree with it. I mean, you look at the stats. Like I said, it was a weak offensive line that Jerry Stidham had. He was uh, 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 his co- his playing style was not fit for that offense. So that's why that offense struggled. Then I'll save for another episode for that that not being the only reason why the team struggled. But that'll be another episode and it will be a bit lengthy. I may do a part one or part two to it. It may be or it, or it may just be several sections to it. Because there's a lot I can go into about it. That's certain information that you all know and some information that, you know, is uh, uh, still just behind the scenes. Uh, But, yeah, that's I'll leave that for another episode. But, yes, I want to just discuss that actual blog post. And give my point of view on it and let me know what you guys think about it. Am I wrong in anything that I stated? Did I make any any did I make any errors in what I stated? Or do you guys feel the same way? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This is Auburn Fast Talk.